It's me again. This time we're going to be reading Firefly July, a year of very short poems. Selected by Paul B. Genexo and illustrated by Melissa Sweets. Let's get started. Firefly July, a year of very short poems. Selected by Paul B. Genexo, illustrated by Melissa Sweet, Candlewick Press. Daybreak reminds us the hills have arrived just in time to celebrate. Sid Corman. Spring. Rain beats down, roots stretch up, they'll meet in a flower. Raymond Souster. Red wheelbarrow. So much depends upon a red wheelbarrow, glazed with rainwater beside the white chickens. William Carlos Williams. The island. Wrinkled stone like an elephant skin on which young birches are treading. Lillian Morrison. In passing, open backed dumpy junk trucks stacked full of world floor fans, unplugged, unsteady, undone, free whirling like kids wore pinwheels in a last fresh breeze. What a way to go! Gerald Jonas. Water lily. My petals enfold stamens of gold. I float serene while down below. The root, these roots of mine are deeply stuck in the coolest, most delicious muck. Ralph Fletcher. Open build gulls fighting for fish heads creak like rusted gates. X.J. Kennedy. Window. Night from a railroad car window is a great, dark, soft thing broken across with slashes of light. Carl Sandberg. Little Orange Cat. Little Orange Cat, you prowl like a small tiger, stalking what? In the field of light daisies and shining buttercups. Charlotte Zoloto. Summer. Firefly to lie, when I was ten, one summer night, the baby stars that leapt among the trees like dimes of light. <laughs> I cupped and capped and kept. J. Patrick Lewis. Sandpipers. Sandpipers run with their needle beaks, digging their hemming the ocean. April Halpern Leyland. Bondage. In a dusty drawer, I found the keys to a farmhouse long down torn. And rubbing fresh the metal of the bit, smelled a child's own fear and first pennies. Robert Morgan. In the field, Trevor. Sun's a roaring dandelion, hour by hour. It sometimes moons a sight, and sometimes a silver flower. But over the stars, all night long, the stars are clover. Over and over and over. Robert Wallace. Sea trade. All night long, the moonlit seed tosses white chrysanthemums to the rocky shore. All night long, oh, the rocky shore offers in return tattered petals. Patricia Hubble. The moon was but a chin of gold a night or two ago, and now she turns her perfect face upon the world below. Emily Dickinson. What is, what is it the wind has lost that she keeps looking for under each leaf? Jim Harrison and Ted Kooser. November night. Listen, with faint dry sound, like steps of passing ghosts. Leaves frost crisp break from the trees and fall. Adelaide Crapsy, between walls. Back wings of the hospital where nothing will grow lie. Cinders in which shine the broken pieces of a green bottle. William Carlos Williams again. Moonlight. Status silver spoon hanging below the clouds or just moonlight. Bruce Bellon. 
old truck. He's picked up kids, hay for winter bound cows, brand new furniture for neighbors, now rust. Cynthia Peterson. Spencer has a TC. Fog. The fog comes on little cat feet. It sits looking over harbor and city on silent haunches and then moves on. Carl Sandberg. This is for fog. To conquer skyscrapers, to make a magic cloak, to become Thistledon. Eve Miriam. The house workers have left the door in a staircase. Now leading to the empty room of night. Char Charles Resnikoff. A wild winter wind is tearing itself to shreds on barbed wire fences. Richard Wright. Winter twilight. On a clear winter's evening, the crescent moon and the round squirrel's nest in the bare oak are equal planets. Annie Porter. Night. The dark steep roofs chisel the infinity of sky, but the white moonlight Gables resemble still hands at prior. Herbert Reed. <clears throat> a welcome mat of moonlight on the floor. Wipe your feet before getting into bed. Jim Harrison and Ted Cruz. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book about poems. And I hope you have a great June. Happy Pride Month. Goodbye.